Let's look at how change happens. Let's keep a focus on a company, a business. Uh, but it applies to an individual, to the community, even to global society. How do you achieve change? So broadly, we have these four expanding boxes. So making a change in the individual is the easiest. If you have to change or you have to convince somebody else to change behaviors, uh, it's the easiest to make uh, a change in yourself or make a change with someone you're interacting with. Uh, next level of difficulty is if you have to bring in changes into your team, into your group, into your culture, your friends. Um, leadership happens at this level where uh, you've got more than one person and you have to lead them into something else. It requires a certain amount of uh, leadership. It requires sales, if you can look at it that way. Uh, if you have a group of people and you want to go for a movie, uh, who decides which one to go for and how is that decided? And that expands to a business or an enterprise and how do you affect change? Uh, if documentation is not happening or quality is not good enough, how do you affect that change? That's the next level of difficulty. Getting this done across an enterprise becomes the stuff of organizational culture. You have uh, the culture which impacts from the top down uh, culture. We talk about that culture very often, especially in terms of Wall Street and big business, uh, multinationals. Uh, there is a lot of regulation there trying to get people to be sustainable. Uh, the CSR in India, for example, is to force firms to look at community and effect change around them. Of course, global society and changing globally is the most difficult because it involves much more. You're going beyond private and sector. You're talking about social, welfare, public health. And it's fascinating if you look at these four and how the pandemic has reversed this whole thing. The global society change has been affected first and it's now working backward. Normally, this would go in the other way, but everyone is forced to change. Global society has changed globally, worldwide. Everything has changed. Then if you work backward, you can see what firms have to do to make changes. Teams have started making changes, or work from home, and the individual has been impacted. So it's a very interesting paradigm shift in terms of how change has been affected globally because of COVID-19. But it's worth looking at your business in this perspective and see how do you, it's almost like a, a reverse engineering uh, way of uh, behavioral change. So the balance of importance and the influence factors are key in how you design your uh, change. And this change can be for good going forward because this is what you're trying to affect anyway as a risk management culture or a behavioral culture or a ethics and values culture or a regulatory compliance culture you were normally working from the individual outward and trying to achieve change but here's a tremendous opportunity in the next six months to two years to effect change because it's already done the big work the big bulk heavy lifting has already been done so now you're going to reverse that and see how your firm or your team you could go you can do it across your enterprise or you could do it in a team and the individual is forced to change because he's, uh, he's working from home the individual has already adapted and has to work from home. So the two ends have been achieved. The individual change and the global society change has been achieved. Of course, the individual is also affected by fear. There are other behavioral traits that have come up. Stress is a factor. So how do you harness the individual into the team and into the enterprise? 